Hi Kindergarten, please take out your orange math skills packet. Today we're going to be reviewing our chapter on subtraction. We've been working hard to master this skill. Today we'll review, which means to look at again or view again. We're going to look again at all that we've learned so that we can be ready to take a test. Today will be a review and tomorrow will be a test on, chap on this chapter on subtraction. Let's get started. For this lesson, you'll need your pencil for sure, but you might want to keep your crayons nearby in case there's an opportunity to color. We're going to review some subtraction skills that we've learned. Remember, subtraction is to take away from a group and see how many are left. Let's start on number one. I see there are five sailboats. I see the subtraction sentence five, take away one. Would you trace over the subtraction sign and the equal sign? Five take away one is how many left over? To solve this, we need to cross off one to take it away and count to see how many are left. How many sailboats do you see left after we take the one away? I see one, two, three, four left over. Five take away one is four. Number two. Let's write a subtraction sentence for what's happening in this picture. To get us started, we need to see how many there were in the total group before the subtraction took place. To do that, we need to count the ones without X's and the ones with X's. Let's count to see how many were in the total group. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There were nine in the total group. Please write a nine on the handwriting line. Then trace over the subtraction sign. Let's write now how many were taken away. To find that, we're going to look at the picture and see how many were crossed off from the group of nine. I see one, two, three that were crossed off to be taken away. This picture shows the subtraction sentence nine take away three. Nine take away three is how many left? How many do you see without X's on it? I see six birds without X's on it. Nine take away three is six. Number three, I'm going to tell you a subtraction story. I want you to draw a picture to match and write a subtraction sentence to match the picture. I'll do this one with you. There were four balls in the ball cart. One, two, three, four. Would you draw four balls on the work mat? And write a number four on the first handwriting line to show how many were in our group to start. There were four balls in the ball cart. A student came and took two balls from the ball cart. Let's trace over the subtraction sign and write a two on the handwriting line, handwriting line to show that two are being taken away. One, two, cross off two from the four original balls. When that student took two balls from the ball cart, how many were left over? Or take away two is two. There are two left over in the ball cart without X's on them. Great job. Go ahead and turn your page and flip your packet. On the back, we're going to put a big X over number one. We're not going to be working on that one today. Number two is a review from last time, last chapter on addition. Do you see the plus sign here? So this time we're going to write an addition story. Now remember, addition is the opposite of subtraction. It's taking two small groups, two groups, and adding them together to see how many in all. So We'll write an addition sentence to review addition, but remember this is different than what we've been working on in this chapter. Are you ready for this story? 
three flowers were beginning to bloom. One, two, three. Go ahead and draw three flowers beginning to bloom. Once you finish up your flowers, make sure you write a number three on the handwriting line to show that there are three flowers in the first group. Then, since this is addition, we'll trace over the plus sign, and I'll continue our math story. So, three flowers began to bloom. Then, four flowers started springing up from the ground. Let's draw another group of four flowers, just barely springing up from the ground. All right, so now we need to see how many flowers were springing up in all. To find this, instead of taking away any flowers, we're going to add the two groups together, the three and the four more. So we're going to count them all together because this is addition to see how many there are in the whole group. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven in all. Should you write a seven on the next handwriting line? And we read this sentence by saying three and four is seven, or three plus four equals seven. All right, number three, we're gonna get back to working on subtraction. That's what this chapter has been about. So for this one, we'll be working on a subtraction sentence. I'm going to tell you another subtraction story, and I want you to write this one all by yourself. You ready? I'll show you the answer after the story is done so you can check and see if you got it right. But I want you to write a subtraction sentence and draw the picture to see if you're understanding it well. Five quarters fell onto the floor. Then one girl picked up two quarters. How many quarters are still on the floor? So I'll say that again. Five quarters fell on the floor. Then a girl picked up two of those quarters. How many quarters are still on the floor? Go ahead and pause the video, draw what you think, and then unpause to see the answer. Does yours look something like mine? Five take away two is three left over. Five quarters fell on the floor. Then a girl picked up two, so we should have taken away two, and that would leave three quarters on the floor. Five take away two is three. Go ahead and turn your page and flip your packet. We're going to keep reviewing with this next page. Go ahead and put a big black X over number one. We're gonna skip that problem for today. We're gonna start off on number two on this page with the sea turtles. Let's read this subtraction sentence and figure out how many would be left over after we take away six. So I notice that the first number is missing. The first number in a subtraction sentence tells how many you have to start with. Let's count the sea turtles to see how many we have to start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's 10 sea turtles to start with, so let's write a 10 on the handwriting line. 10 take away 6 is how many? Well, let's take away 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. How many are left over after we take away 6? Four. There are four left over. Ten take away six is four. All right, number three. 
we have a subtraction sentence that's written out in words, but we need to write it in numbers. It says eight take away five is three. Let's write an eight on the first handwriting line. Then do a subtraction sign for the words take away. Write a five on the next handwriting line to show that that is how many we are taking away and cross off that many fish. Cross off five fish to show that five are being taken away. Eight take away five is, go ahead and trace over the equal sign, and write a three on the last handwriting line to show that three are left over. One, two, and three. Eight take away five is three. Okay, turn your page and flip your packet. We're gonna work on the last review, which will be on the back. Cross off number one. We're not gonna solve that one together. I'm going to ask you to solve numbers two and three by yourself. Make sure you look to see which operation we're using, addition or subtraction. The plus sign shows addition. That means you're bringing the groups together. The subtraction sign or the minus sign shows that we're taking some from the group. So that's when we cross off to show that they're being taken away. So I want you to solve numbers two and three, pause the video to solve, and then unpause so you can see the answers. Go ahead and complete those now and pause the video. All right, did you solve them? Good job. So number two was five and three is eight. You should have written five plus three equals eight and circle the two groups to show that we're bringing them together for addition. Then for number three, for the subtraction sentence, it was 10 take away five. 10 minus five or 10 take away five is five. You should have crossed off five stingray and shown that there were five left over. Great work. For tomorrow's test, you're going to be solving more problems just like this, except I'm not going to be revealing the answers to you. I want you to see how much you learned about subtraction. So I'll read the test aloud to you, but I won't be giving you the answers because it's a test and I want to see how much you learned. Remember, all you have to do is try your best and that is success. So rest up tonight and I'll see you tomorrow for our chapter test.